Hello viewers, welcome to Kalam Club Science Lessons presented by Biology Digital Buddy. Dear students, we all know that to collect the valuables from a locker easily we need its key. In the same way, to understand a science lesson or biology lesson easily and clearly, we need to understand key concepts of that particular lesson. Here, Biology Digital Buddy is presenting you key concepts and their definitions for every general science lesson and biology lesson. Hope you will utilize this opportunity. Dear students and viewers, in this video from 7th class general science, we will discuss key concepts and their definitions part 8 from unit 4 respiration and circulation. Arteries The blood vessels that carry blood from heart to all body parts are called arteries. Arteries are also known as distributing blood vessels. Generally, all arteries transport pure blood or oxygenated blood except pulmonary arteries. Pulmonary arteries transport impure blood or deoxygenated blood to lungs. The arteries that transport pure blood to all the body parts except lungs are called systemic arteries. The arteries walls are thick when compared to veins. The blood pressure in arteries is high when compared to veins. And unlike veins, arteries don't contain valves in them. The diameter of arteries will be around 18 micrometers. Veins The blood vessels that bring blood from all body parts to heart are called veins. Veins are also known as collecting blood vessels. Generally, all veins carry impure blood or deoxygenated blood except pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins carry pure blood or oxygenated blood to lungs. The veins that carry impure blood are called systemic veins. The veins walls are thin when compared to arteries. The blood pressure is also low in veins when compared to arteries. And unlike arteries, veins contain valves in them. The diameter of veins will be around 30 micrometers. Blood capillaries The network of fine or thin blood vessels that connect arteries and veins are called blood capillaries. The diameter of capillaries will be around 5 to 10 micrometers. The word capillary came from the Latin word capillaries. In Latin language, capillaries means resembling hair or thin hair-like structures. Marcello Malfizi was the first scientist who discovered blood capillaries in frog lungs. Blood corpuscles The cells present in blood are called blood corpuscles. Blood corpuscles are also called blood cells or hematopoietic cells or hemocytes or hematocytes. RBC or erythrocytes, WBC or leukocytes and blood platelets or thrombocytes are the three major types of blood corpuscles present in blood. These blood corpuscles constitute 40 to 45 percent of blood. And the Dutch naturalist Jan Swammerdam was the first person who observed the blood corpuscles for the first time. Plasma The extracellular fluid present in blood is called plasma or the fluid part of the blood is called plasma. Plasma exists in straw color or light amber color. It constitutes 55 to 60 percent of blood 
up to 95% of plasma is water the remaining 5% of plasma is constituted by organic and inorganic materials red blood corpuscles a kind of blood corpuscles that contain hemoglobin and play key role in transport of respiratory gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide are called red blood corpuscles or rbc these rbc also called erythro erythroids or erythrocytes these rbc exist in red color due to the presence of respiratory pigment hemoglobin in their cytoplasm a dutch naturalist called jan swammerdam was the first person who observed the red blood corpuscles for the first time these rbc exist in biconcave shape they are the highest number of cells in all kinds of blood corpuscles in healthy adult human beings around 5 million rbc are present in 1 cubic centimeter blood in human beings the lifespan of rbc is around 120 days white blood corpuscles a group of colorless blood corpuscles that play key role in development of immunity are called white blood corpuscles or wbc the white blood corpuscles are also called leukocytes they are colorless cells and also shapeless cells they are the fewest of among all blood corpuscles they are the largest of all blood corpuscles granulocytes and agranulocytes are the two major types of leukocytes are present gabriel andrel and william addison were the two doctors who observed the white blood corpuscles for the first time in healthy adult human beings around 5000 to 9000 wbc are present in 1 cubic centimeter blood blood platelets a kind of blood corpuscles that play key role in blood clotting process are called blood platelets these blood platelets also called thrombocytes these thrombocytes are the second highest cells in blood corpuscles they are the smallest of all blood corpuscles in healthy adult human beings around 1.5 lakhs to 4 lakh thrombocytes are present in 1 cubic centimeter blood they are also like wbc shapeless and colorless hemoglobin the respiratory pigment that makes blood red and helps in transport of respiratory gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide is called hemoglobin this hemoglobin is abbreviated as hb or hgb in a healthy human being around 12 to 20 grams of hb is required in every 100 ml of blood for appropriate hb in blood we should we should eat iron containing foods because iron is one of the important components of hemoglobin so dear students we should eat iron containing foods such as dried fruits minor cereals liver etc pandemic the disease which infects most of the people in a country or the whole world at the same time is called pandemic pandemic is the word originated from greek language in greek language pan means all demos means the crowd as few diseases spread across the country 
or boral to several people in short period they are called pandemics or pandemic diseases dear students and viewers you could mention the names of pandemics that you know in comment section these are the key concepts and definitions part 8 and in next video we will discuss the remaining key concepts and their definitions under part 8 from the same unit respiration and circulation till then wish you all the best dear students keep watching kalam club science lessons presented by biology digital buddy this is meda prasad biology teacher signing off now we'll meet you in next video bye